what does binary mean? Well, binary means two zeros or ones. So you have an image that just has two values. Um, you could also think of them as type of logical with values true or false. So an example might be an image like this that consists of one color white and another color, uh, say black, as the background. So you can get binary images by thresholding gray level images. So take everything above a threshold and make it white, everything below the threshold and make it black. Or you can get a binary image as a result of running a feature detector. We often want to count or measure the shape of these two-dimensional binary image regions. And that's what we're going to focus on today. You can also get binary images naturally from applications such as looking at objects on a conveyor belt. You might have a light object against a dark background or uh, processing images of text with characters, with fingerprints, etc. So I'm going to talk about thresholding, first of all, how to get a binary image from a grayscale image, doing logical operations on binary images, extracting connected components from these binary images, doing morphological operations on those components, and then computing uh, properties of regions uh, such as moments. And I'll describe um, a lab exercise using these techniques to find a fiducial target in an image. So first let's talk about thresholding. So thresholding is a process where we convert a grayscale image to a binary image. So as I mentioned this uh, simplifies processing and computation of features. We can use a single threshold value, basically it's a global thresholding technique, or a local value depending on where we are in the image, which is called an adaptive technique. So an example would be this MATLAB image called 8.tiff. Its histogram looks like this. It has um, a group of pixels that are sort of dark, those would be the coins, and a large group of pixels that are bright, that would be the background. So we can threshold the image in MATLAB, you can do this using this expression i greater than t, where t is the threshold that you use. So this expression is true wherever the pixel in i is greater than t. So you would get a logical operation where the white represents true and the black represents false. So how do you compute a global threshold? So instead of trying to pick it manually, you can um, compute it automatically. If you assume that the histogram is bimodal, namely it contains two, two types of objects, one light and one dark, what we would want to do is choose the threshold to separate those two modes and that would minimize the classification error of accidentally uh, classifying a bright object as a, a dark object. A standard technique to do this is called the Atsu algorithm and it minimizes the within-group variances. So let me show you what that is. So recall that a variance is defined as 1 over n times the sum of x sub i minus x average squared. So x sub i is your samples, that would be the pixels of various gray levels, and um, x bar of course would be the average, which is defined as 1 over n sum over x sub i. So if we had a um, bimodal um, histogram with two populations like this, and we put our threshold here, we would want to compute the variance of the pixels within the first population and the variance of the pixels within the second population. And then the within group variance would be the sum of those two, weighted by the number of pixels in the first group 
and the number of pixels in the second group. So the Atsu algorithm basically searches for a threshold that minimizes the score and it would find a um, threshold that tended to bunch the um, uh, basically it, it would find a group that would be uh, tightly bunched in the first mode and tightly bunched in the second mode. In MATLAB the Atsu algorithm is this function called gray thresh. It returns a threshold T. You can use that uh, to threshold an image using I greater than T or uh, there is a function called IM to BW. Uh, let me show that in MATLAB. I'll take this image called 8.tiff which is the image of the coins. And the histogram I'll display, which we saw looks like that. So the Atsu algorithm is gray thresh it returns a value uh, 0.649. So 0.649 is actually a number. It's between 0 and 1. So the, the algorithm scales the output to be between 0 and 1. So if I wanted to um, look at the, uh, or compute the value between 0 and 255, I have to multiply that by 255. So I'd get a value of uh, 165 which should be about right in the middle here of that of those two modes. Okay, let's look at logic operations. Um, first remember what the what a truth table is for a logic operation. So in the case of an AND of X and Y to produce an output Z that is defined by this truth table. So Z is true where X and Y are both true. And OR is true when X or Y is true. So we can apply those to images. So if I have an image here, let's say the black is the is the ones and the zero is the the white is the zeros. Um, I could do a not operation to compute not a. Um, if this is two images a and b, I can do a pixel by pixel and operation. So that would be that would give me an output of a one only where the two regions overlapped, where they were both ones. Or an OR operation, I would get essentially the union of these two regions as shown here. So you can do that with um, other logic operations such as exclusive OR, NAND, and NOR. In MATLAB, um, there is actually a logic type called true and false. Well, so you, you can create a, a image of false using this um, this command right here. This would create an image of false or zeros that is 10 by 10. And um, here I'm going to insert a um, region of ones or trues in the upper right corner, upper left corner. And at image B I would insert a region of trues in the lower right corner. So given that, let's say Essentially, this is A, which is the the ones here, zeros here, and B is the ones here, zeros here. So a not A, of course, would be the opposite of that. It would have zeros here and ones here. Um, so this function, I am complement takes the complement or you can do the 
the tilde as I shown. IM complement though works on grade level images too, it does something completely different. It takes a photo negative instead of a logical complement, which is just a 255 minus A at each pixel. The end of A and B would be true wherever I have the ones. So that would give a small region of ones that looked here and zeros everywhere else. And a or of A and B would be the union of those two. So it would be ones everywhere in those regions. Whoops, sorry, zeros there, ones everywhere else. You can always you can also do a bitwise and or etc. <coughs> of um, unsigned integers. So instead of each pixel representing a true or false, each pixel is a 8-bit number. So for example, if I put 30s in that upper left-hand corner, a 30 in binary, recall that a binary number, oops, I'm sorry, is a 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16, 32, 64, 128. <coughs> Excuse me. So a 30 is a 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And zeros here. A um, And let's say I put a 120 wherever I had the 1s and Bs. A 120 in binary would be a 1 here, 1, 1, 1, uh, let's see, 1, 64, 32, 96, 106, 112, I'm sorry, 0 here. So that's a 120. So a bitwise AND of A and B would be true only in the middle two bits here. So if we were to do a bitwise and of those two images, I would see this number, which actually represents a 24 in decimal. And that would be, so a 24 in that middle region that overlaps A and B. OK, let's move on to connected components. A connected component is a region in the image of ones. But we first define what do we mean by connected. So there are two definitions. Uh, four adjacent is this. That says that the pixel in the middle has four neighbors, north, south, east, and west. Eight connected is this, means that the pixel in the middle has eight neighbors, uh, north, south, east, and west, and also the diagonals. So a, a region, S, let me draw that. So if I have a region of ones, two points are connected if there is a path between them that is entirely within S. So it contains, it's, it basically travels along ones the entire way. So these two regions would not be connected. So S is a connected component if there is a connect is if there is a path between every pair of pixels in S. Labeling is the process of assigning the same label number to every pixel in a connected component. So here I would assign ones to every pixel in this blob, and twos, for example, to every pixel in this blob. So I would have an image of ones or twos or zeros.